Okay, so just a little bit about um, um, uh, anger, I guess, or if someone was interested in politics uh, or uh, and um, but I've also experienced uh, prior flow states, spiritual states, sublime spiritual states where they're in the flow of the universe and you know and you know if we look at Hawkins stuff anger is actually quite a powerful emotion uh, compared to the lower the lower vibration so compared to like uh, guilt or shame or, or apathy, or even fear. Anger is, is a much more powerful, strong emotion. And if one has come from those backgrounds, uh, or has had a childhood where one has felt powerless, or, uh, you know, uh, and then one comes into one's anger, it is a very, very strong and powerful thing. And, you know, in the animal world, you know, it's very much, you know, the, the thing, you know, it's like, who can sort of puff up their chest and uh, and shout a bit louder is usually the dominant male, uh, and the the others sort of get in line. So it's it, it, it's uh, it's got a very it is a powerful of, of the ego emotions, apart from pride, which is a bit more powerful. Uh, anger is one of the most strongest ones, but it's still an ego it's still an ego emotion. Uh, still haven't yet gone into the spiritual realm of peace or love or acceptance um, or unconditional love. So one of the things is that everything that comes up within the ego, there is a payoff that it, that it gets. And it's like, is one willing to let go of the payoffs? And then you sort of look at it, what, what, are, the, what are the payoffs? You know, uh, some of the payoffs could be like feeling that one's one's right or feeling that one has a sense of power when one is angry so there could be various payoffs or one could see um, also what's quite interesting in the lower levels of consciousness the world is the perception of the world fits the emotion so often when one is, you know for example one could be often in anger and one might be seeing injustices in the world and be feeling uh, angry at uh, the injustices uh, perceived in the world, and so it feels like the right thing to be angry and to br you know to uh, bring you know to uh, enlighten the wrongdoers, uh, to bring them round, or to make change in the world. And it is it is a powerful emotion. However, it's not in surrendering. If you see that the payoffs, you know, true authentic spiritual power. You always want to go higher in vibration to get higher power, and the, and real power really comes from being in the uh, spiritual states. You know, hence the thing of like. Uh, so here's one. Here's a really great example. Like if someone's holding anger, or seeing, and often if you're vibrating in anger, you see a world that can that necessitates anger, or you have the payoffs for the anger, or you see there's wrongdoers, or whatever it is. So, you know, the ego gets angry. So it's part of that perceptual, that vibration. But, you know, if you look at something like, uh, I think that there's a story, like some of you may know, because I talk about it in the group, like there's uh, Dr. Hugh Len, the Hoponopono guy. And, you know, so for him, I mean, you know, if he was vibrating at anger, he could have been like, could have been angry at the system and tried to get angry at the people who are somehow making these people happen. And so put anger out, the energy of anger, into the world to correct the problem of why these people are in prison. And he could be angry for different, depending on how he perceives the, the problem. What, is it because people have a bad childhood, or is it that these people are just bad, and, or, or is society somehow failing in some way? So to try and get in there, or is it the political system that, that needs to be rectified? So, but actually, that's not spiritual power. You know, so you just and all, and and as you put anger out into the world, if you put anger out into the world, you're going to get you know that energy of pushing into the world is going to have a, an equal energetic back pushing back <coughs> eventually. So it's not going to be it's going to be going to going to live in a, a world of push and being pushed back. Um, so it's not going to be a fun life. However, if you get into the fields of spiritual power, 
how do you get into the field of spiritual power is that you transcend how your ego perceives the problem and, and when you transcend how, for example, if you forgive, if you pray for a miracle to see the situation differently, uh, then you, you sometimes get uh, an enlightened intuition on how to perceive the problem differently. Often enlightened sages will say, actually, at certain levels of consciousness, there is no problem in the world. The world is absolutely perfect the way it is. It doesn't need any, any changing. So, uh, so that's, that's one thing. So if you look at Dr. Hughes Len, you know, he was given all the prison files of these prisoners and he just forgave them for what his ego perceived as being wrong. Like this guy's a mass murderer, this guy, I don't know, is an axe murderer, whatever. He just forgave those. And then the whole, all those prisoners got well and they closed the prison down. So that's the thing of, of how powerful spiritual power is. You know, what's the difference of spiritual power in affecting change as opposed to ego power of having anger and putting anger out into the world to, 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 to facilitate change. So spiritual power is a lot more powerful than uh, ego anger. Ego anger is often used by um, uh, people and it does have an effect, you know, ego power, but the thing is, in order to keep that effect, usually one has to keep in that angry mode to keep the people at bay. Whereas spiritual power is transformative and uh, it will come up, you know, it's like people can just get well or some enlightened solution will come that brings peace into such. So when you're in those higher vibrations, often you're at a state of peace, you, per you perceive through a different filter and you can bring solutions that bring peace and harmony. Whereas Often when you're in the vibrations of anger, you can still bring a solution, but often there'll be like a force against it, and it'll be, it'll be a bit of a battle, because you haven't really, you know, it's like, usually with anger, there's going to be the wrong people, so, who have brought, been uh, brought to justice. The other thing on a very simplistic emotional point of view is just the payoff of anger. The feeling of power just by holding on to anger and one's perceptions. You know, there could be the juice of being right, or there could be the juice of seeing injustice, uh, you know, of, of seeing all the injustices and then being angry. The, just the juice of anger, is a, it's, a quite a, it's quite a rush to feel anger, especially if you've been in lower vibrations to feel anger. Also, there can be past associations of, um, you know, if you one had felt powerless before in life, to be angry and to see that people respond to that in a different way uh, is also quite quite powerful. So just um, just in letting those pairs go, but for me it's like it's like <coughs> if you've been in the flow states, <coughs> you know that letting go of the anger is well worth it because those miraculous flow states where everything flows and the whole universe is on your side is just definitely worth giving up the, the short-term satisfaction of anger and, and also that you're in, a, you're in a world where you perceive you're in that, you're, but that emotion is colouring the world you see in your perceptions of the world and also uh, the higher up in power you go um, the more the universe is on your side. It's just like, you know, uh, I know someone in this room has been in those flow states. Everything always works out. Everything is wonderful. And it's like there's a beautiful flow and grace to the universe. There's no problems. And um, also in those states, you know, you don't get angry. It's like everything just washes off and you have a gentle, benign, trusting, loving attitude at all times. Whereas in the angry state, you know, it's like everything irritates. And then, you know, and, and that also makes me angry, and that also makes me angry, and oh, and, and this person's also making me angry. So it's not, it's not a vibe, it's, it's worth giving up the payoffs uh, and seeing what the payoffs to, to let it go.